What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I'm going to be doing some um, daily energy for all the signs very quickly as I have to get to a meeting in a half an hour. So, um, starting with our water signs, um, we're going to be doing some the three card spread of what you need to be aware of, what you need to remember, and what you need to let go of. So for our Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, you have the Empress card in reverse. Okay, the bottom of the deck is a Three of Cups in reverse. So maybe some of you are dealing with a third party, or maybe someone's coming out of a third party. I feel like there has been some truth spoken to the, in this situation with the Queen of Swords. I feel like maybe there was um, some unfairness, there was some um, lying, there was... Uh, maybe this has brought about some negativity and sadness for some of you because there was dishonesty there was legal problems that could have been dealing with a libra and then you have the sun card in reverse which represents depression what i can say is that um there is happiness here for some for some of us um we have the ten of cups with the queen of cups the fool card the queen of swords and the nine of cups so I feel like there is happiness here. We're kind of standing in our full element of being, you know, um, I think it's more about being really intuitive and in tune with ourselves and listening to our intuition. You have the Fool card, so it's about starting something new, maybe taking a leap of faith. The Queen of Swords is like, we've thought about it, we know what we want to do, and I think that we are going to get it. And then you have the, ten of, the Nine of Cups, which is also um, material happiness. Moving to the table for what you need to um, be aware of is the Emperor's card in reverse. There is no growth in some situation. Um, some of you, it's the Seven of Swords in reverse. So maybe this person that did you wrong, there isn't any growth right now. This is someone who's really dependent on other people. This is someone who maybe within themselves isn't growing. There's a Seven of Swords in reverse, so they did fuck up. They know they did, and they're trying to make things right. But at the same time, this is something that we need to be aware of. So it's either that, you know, either the past energy of just having no growth and having this um, dependence or this fact that they're trying to make things right, but it's bringing about a lot of things that we are, um, you know, fighting about, I think. And it's a necessary transition for us to kind of bring ourselves out of this, um, this situation with this person. Um, then for what you need to remember is the world card in reverse. There wasn't closure in something, um, maybe in a cycle with another person or just in general. So we're kind of still rotating in this um, cycle because it, we didn't allow it to close or it just didn't. Um, and I think that you have the five of cups in reverse. So it's like being, it's about moving on from this. It's about forgiving someone or some situation so that we can recover Um then you have the four of pentacles, which is so we can stand on the stable ground. So we can um, be at this this level of kind of protecting what is important to us. Maybe for some of us, it's money. Maybe it's more about, you know, trying something new with the page of wands. You know, we have a passion for something and we know that we want to do it. So maybe it's about being more self-conscious of the things that uh, mean something to us and doing something for ourselves. Um, you have the Five of Swords in reverse, which talks about someone who isn't walking away from a situation, but what you need to let go of is the Three of Swords. So this situation where there was heartbreak, there was a divorce, there was some kind of loss, there is depression here. We need to let that go. You know, there is someone who's not walking away, but at the same time, this is some coming to this piece uh, with the situation, maybe with this person who has some work to do on themselves, someone who's overthinking, someone who is trying to improve a situation. The two of swords in reverse is like, it's just bringing about confusion. And I think that's something that we need to let go of. Um, because it's about patience. 
You need to be patient and let things happen how they're going to happen. We have to say what you mean. It's time to be really honest with ourselves and other people about the things that we want to do, about how we feel, about where we're going. Um, speaking that into our lives. Discover your life purpose. This is what we're coming into right now. We're coming into the fact that we know what we want to do. We've thought about it long enough. And I don't think we're going to let anybody stop us. Okay? Some of us are dealing with a broken heart. And there's this attachment. But we're also on a journey in our lives. And it's up to us what direction that we're going to go. Because we are in this, this karma with somebody. It has something to do with friendships. And there's also union for some of us. Maybe we're married to someone. Maybe there is this possibility of this, in a, of coming out of a friendship. But I think the important thing to remember is that this is here. We are in this, you know, in our lives, in our friendships, in reality. And then there's this union that's a possibility for some of us as well. So, um... That is all the messages that I have for the water signs. I hope that everyone has a good day. Sorry that it's short and sweet, but you know how life goes. Have a good day, everyone.